Dubai has kept most of its economy open this year despite the Delta, then the Omicron COVID waves. Officials hope to keep the tourism buck flowing. But for the last few weeks, Israelis have been banned from visiting the UAE. The Emirates is a red country, and despite today's rollback of the travel ban list, Dubai remains a no-fly zone for Israelis. I-24 News Dubai-based correspondent Bastian Bori explains how many Israelis, though, are trying to skirt the rules to get to Dubai. Well, the aim here is obviously not to generalize. Uh, the vast majority of Israelis on vacation in Dubai are very well uh, welcomed. But it is true that some of them appear today in a way that is not really positive in the eyes of the authorities of the two countries, the UAE and Israel, but also in the eyes of the world. It, it was known that a handful of them were involved in stealing equipment here, especially in hotels, uh, speeding on the road, uh, smuggling jewelry and telephones, and, and even more seriously, uh, participating in prostitution networks. What we learned today is that Israeli tourists are circumventing the entry ban into the UAE by not taking a direct flight uh, Tel Aviv, Dubai, but by passing through Bahrain. Bahrain has not classified the UAE as a red zone country with regard to the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So these Israelis take a one-way one ticket to Manama, the Bahraini capital, uh, stay there for one or two days, the time to do a new PCR test and to cover their tracks a bit, and then come to Dubai, taking advantage of the lack of attention, perhaps, of some border guards who do not systematically check the initial airport of origin of these people. But these frauds, uh, let's call them that way, since it is a legal measure taken by Israel to place the UAE in the red zone, these frauds are not the only ones responsible. Travel agents also encourage the, them to um, circumvent the law uh, by selling cheap tickets to third countries from where tourists can reach, can reach Dubai easily. But the Emirati Customs authorities are not joking. The fines are several thousands of dollars and the surveillance will increase as the UAE experienced a surge of positive cases uh, during this tourist season.